All right, so today I'm going to read the story Secrets of the Seashore, a Shine a Light book. This is part of the Osborne book series. Um, so they have all different types of book books, all different authors. This is um, by the Kane Miller Publishing Company, but these Shine a Light books are um, really popular with the kids. Um, so moms and dads, if you're ever shopping for books and you go through Osborne, um, check out the Shine a Light books. There's all different kinds. We have a rainforest one, the seashore one. I think there's also a space one. But today we're going to read um, Secrets of the Seashore. Okay. A tide pool is bustling with life. If you look closely between the rocks, beneath the fronds of the seaweed, and on the sandy bed, you will see the animals living there. Shine a flashlight behind the page or hold it up to the light to reveal what is hidden in and around the tide pool. Discover a small world of great surprises. A tide pool is a hollow on the seashore. Can you see what happens when the tide comes in? What? Why are we in here? Because we can see a little bit better in here. And so then you're going to take your flashlight. I want to do it. No, I'm going to do it, okay? You can but, do it afterwards. That's my flashlight. And we're going to shine it down. What do you see inside the tab? Inside the tide pool? I see a little fish, a starfish, some shrimp. Ugh, a shrimp. Yeah, see all the things that live in there? Creatures that live in seawater have waited for the tide pool to fill. What's hiding in these shells? Oh, and I forgot. So over here, whoosh, the seawater flows in with the tide and fills the pool. So let's see what's hiding in this one. I see that. I can see some shells. Bubble, bubble, mussels keep their blue shells tightly shut while the tide is out. Now they open their shells and begin to feed. So these are different kinds of mussels than the mussels that are in our body. These are mussels that live in um, shells. You might've found them at the beach. They look like clams um, and they open up so that they can eat. Creatures cling to the rocks around the pool. Who could live in a shell like these? Hmm. See if we can see. Ooh. You guys see those? What are they? They're barnacles. They come to life in the water. They reach out their feathery legs to wave tiny pieces of food into their mouth. Flutter, flutter. Other creatures are walking are waking up too. What are these jewel-like animals? What are these? There's lots of different animals that live in the ocean. And we'll use our shine a light. You can see some extra little things on top of them. See that? Stretch. Two sea anemones are searching for food with their long, wriggly tentacles. They eat small fish and shrimp. So if you guys ever watched Finding Nemo, that's where they live, in a sea anemone. And even though they don't have a face or swim, they're living creatures, just like plants. Dark nooks under rocks make perfect hiding places. Can you see who's resting here? Who do we think's resting? You don't know, Bryn? Oh, I can see the rest of Mr. Crab hanging up here. And this is a book I'll bring to school um, when we all go back to school so you can see it a little bit better. See? I can't see him. It's right there. I can't. I don't want I can't see his whole body. It's a little tricky in the sun. You gotta, It's a nice book to read at bedtime when it's a little bit dark in your room. Here he is. Click, click. A crab holds its pinchers up ready to grab a tidbit to eat. The crab is on the move, but there's another hunter nearby. <gasps> Who's hiding under this rock, Bryn? 
Let's see. Mister. Mister. Can you hold this page down for me? No, over here. Hold down there. Right here. Put your hand right there. Yeah, there you go. Who's hiding? Mr. Fish. What kind of fish? Mr. Mish. Mr. Fish Star. Star uh, fish star. A starfish, yeah. Here he is. Hold tight. A starfish uses tube-like suckers on its underside to hold on to the rock. Another animal with suckers is resting in the tide pool. Can you count its eight arms? What has eight arms that lives in the ocean? Bryn, do you know? What lives in, what has eight arms that lives in the ocean? Can you see it? I don't know what that is. That looks like a shark. I don't know. It's an Ah, uh, it begins with an O, just like our O story. Octopus. An octopus. Here he is. An octopus has eight long arms with suckers on the underside, just like a starfish. He crawls slowly over the rocks. Why? There's an animal hiding in the sand. Only its eyes can be seen. What do you think it is? Hmm. What do you think this is? I can only see his eyes. Do you have any guesses? No, I don't know what it is. Ooh. A fish. It's a big fish, yeah. Fish. Fish. Splish, splash. A small fish lives in the tide pool. He looks big, but he must be little compared to the octopus. It hides under rocks, in seaweed, and in the sand. Another tide pool creature lives in a large shell. What do you think it could be? What do you think could live in this large shell? Um, snails. A snail? That's a really good guess. Let's see. I'm going to put my hand right here. Thank you. That's really helpful, Bryn. Crab, crab, crab. Yeah. Surprise. A hermit crab has made his home in this empty shell. So hermit crabs, they grow and then they need a bigger shell. So they go around looking for bigger shells. This whelk is sharing its part of the tide pool with small swimming creatures. Can you see them? Let's use our flashlight to see them. You want to hold that page down again for me, Bryn? No? Okay. Can you guys see those? I know it's a little bit tricky to see, but let's see what they are. Swish! Shrimp move backward by quickly flicking their tails. Their see-through bodies are much easier to find when they move. So some of you might eat shrimp. That's a seafood that a lot of people eat. Something is waving in the water. Which plants live in the sea? Can you guys think of any plants that live in the sea? I know. I know what it is. Ooh, look at those. Do you know what kind of plants live in the sea? Do roses live in the sea? No, not roses. Slick and slimy seaweed anchors itself to rocks and grows. Ooh, careful. You all right? You okay? That was scary. Brenda almost fell out of the chair. You got to sit on your bums when you're in chairs. And grows in the sun. What is slithering along in the seaweed? Do you want to see what's slithering in the seaweed? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Here, can you hold that page down for me? That was your guess from before. What is it? Can you see? I want to turn that page. Okay, you want to turn it? See. Here you go. Wait. A whelk is looking for other shellfish. It can I drill a hole through a shell to eat a creature inside. It looks like a snail, but it's called a whelk but it looks like a big snail. A sleek sea otter has spotted something. Can you see what she wants for dinner? She's looking for something to eat. So I see the otter. It's down Mom, here. Mommy, what is that? An otter. Oh. Most animals stay away from those nasty spikes. Ouch! But a sea urchin is a tasty meal for a sea otter. 
Why is And Otter likes to eat sea urchins, but they're really spiky. Which orange-beaked bird lives on the seashore? Hmm. What? what kind of bird is this? What? Here's the rest of his body what hiding did... behind the rock. What? Why did... Why... Why did you eat them? Why did... That they like the taste of them. I guess they must have special mouths that don't get hurt. An oyster catcher is calling out to other birds. Squawk! Can you see what the oyster catcher has found in the sand? What do you think he's found? I don't know. Let's check it out. Ooh, let's see some seashells or some clams. <gasps> yep, it's a clam. The oyster catcher's long beak is perfect for finding berry food. And these are all some of the different animals that we saw in this book. The end. I hope you guys liked this story. Um, and when we're back at school, I'll bring this one in and the rainforest one in so you guys can see a little bit better um, and hold the pages and hold the flashlight yourself, okay? I hope you liked it.